Subscribe now for daily United Kingdom entertainment news. Stormy Daniels documentary being launched by Blue Ant Media, Global Bulletin. Stormy, a documentary about former porn star Stormy Daniels, has been picked up by Blue Ant Studios for international distribution. The launch was announced on Monday, the same day that former U.S. President Donald Trump begins a criminal trial in New York for allegedly covering up hush money payments to Daniels. Stormy, offered as two one-hour episodes or a two-hour feature, is produced by Emmy-nominated producers Aaron Lee Carr. I Love You, Now Die, The Commonwealth V, Michelle Carter, and producer-director Sarah Gibson. Orgasm Inc., The Story of One Taste, who previously made the documentary. Britney vs. Spears. The film is executive produced by Judd Apatow of Apatow Productions. George Carlin's American Dream, The Zen Diaries of Gary Shandling. Alongside Sarah Bernstein and Meredith Colfers from Imagine Documentaries. The Supermodels, Judy Bloom Forever. Amelia Brown also serves as producer. Stormy is currently streaming on Peacock in the U.S. Veteran Film Distribution and Production Executive Giles Edwards has joined Australia and New Zealand distributor Rialto as head of acquisitions, productions and development to expand and diversify their acquisitions slate. Formerly the head of acquisitions and development, Europe for MPI Media Group and Dark Sky Films in the U.S., Edwards also served as head of acquisitions at Metrodome Distribution in U.K. Working closely with and reporting to Rialto CEO Kelly Roger, Edwards will evaluate American Independent, festival-destined international and theatrical-level documentary features as finished films, in addition to engaging with earlier-stage projects, potentially to provide financing. The company aims to acquire 10 such releases per year. I'm thrilled to be collaborating with the wonderful Kelly Rogers and Rialto's ANZ team as well as the diverse and dynamic range of films by leading directors in their formidable slate and plan to continue solidifying our prominent position in the distribution landscape, said Edwards, who will hit the ground running for Rialto at the upcoming Ken Market. At MPI and Dark Sky Films, Edwards worked in both production, development, and across all aspects of film distribution, including acquisitions, marketing and publicity. Along with acquiring high-profile titles for MPI slash Dark Sky Films, Edwards was also a producer on some of the company's most notable original productions including South by Southwest hits, Girl on the Third Floor, Darlin', and Broadcast Signal Intrusion. Prior to that, he was a consultant at Shudder as they launched in the UK and ANZ. This was after a lengthy tenure at Metrodome where he acquired such premium breakout titles as Ken Winning, Mommy, and Personal Shopper, What We Do in the Shadows, The Innkeepers, Stake Land, The Falling, Tangerine, and Sunset Song, The Gospel of the Beast. Directed by Shirin Deok, was named winner of the Golden Star Award for Best Southeast Asian Film at the first edition of the Ho Chi Minh City International Film Festival. The festival ran April 6th to 13th. Nicole Midori Woodford's Last Shadow at First Light was the winner of multiple awards including the Jury Prize, Best Cinematography, Best Screenplay, and Best Visual Effects. Malaysia's Chia Chi Sum took the award for Best Director with Oasis of Now, while Vietnam's T.T. Dio won the Best Actress Award for her role in the picture. Singapore produced drama Wonderland earned awards for Best Actor, Mark Lee, and Best Supporting Actor, Peter Yu. The Best Supporting Actress Award went to Rewipa Srisangwen for Solids by the Seashore. NetEase, a leading Chinese gaming firm, will reinstate World of Warcraft and other video games from Microsoft-owned Blizzard Entertainment in mainland China, the company said in a joint statement last week. The two companies broke off their 15-year relationship in 2023 after an acrimonious dispute. After a year of negotiations, Blizzard and NetEase are pleased to align on a path forward to once again serve players in mainland China. The company said in a post on NetEase Games' official Weibo account, The new deal will see the return of World of Warcraft and Hearthstone, as well as other titles in the Warcraft, Overwatch, Diablo and Starcraft universes. According to the statement, the Taiwan International Documentary Festival, 
organized by the Taiwan Film and Audiovisual Institute and scheduled from May 10th to 19th, is poised to unveil treasures of Taiwan's cinematic history. The festivals, Real Taiwan, section will spotlight Taiwan's largest experimental documentary project to date, Floating Islands a 12-film series of shorts produced between 1999 and 2000 by the 